नमस्कार वेलकम बैक गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुजरात टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी आई रेशमा लखानी फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सीताराम भाई नारायण जी पटेल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड रिसर्च सेंटर वेलकम यू अगेन टुडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस सोल्यूशंस टू द जी टी यू क्वेश्चन पेपर्स बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विथ माई प्रेजेंटेशन लेट मी शो यू वन paper that i have written for myself <coughs> now there was one question in one paper dated 28 1 2013 paper was asking to write a program to give or display whether the given number is prime number or not this is a simple solution which i have written so that i can give you an idea what we as a examiner like to see in your answer sheet when you are writing any program please neatly and clearly state each of your program statement because if the work is neat and tidy we feel happy to check your work and also you may be given more credit depending on how legible and how clear you are with your idea in writing your work now see as you can see i have written a small program that was asked in that paper i have written this line now i would like to give you one suggestion what you can do after void main we start with opening brace then we are giving all the declarations of the variables right what you can do after each line you can leave one more line while writing because sometimes it happens that we are developing logic while writing and because you don't have much time so you don't prefer to go for rough work kind of thing so you write everything over here only so what happens ke after some stage after some line you feel ke i need one more variable you have already ended this line with semicolon and if you do cancellation and again make new variable it looks untidy to avoid that kind of thing just leave one line after each statement right and then you start your logic see i have left here one line after scanf actually i had also left here integer flag wali line i had left there also then i started my loop you can see i have given proper indentation with my program and try to make it as neat as possible here i have given my logic main logic of my work i have read one number as per the requirement of the program i have given appropriate message whenever i needed just now see when i am taking value from the user at that time i am giving appropriate message enter the number even though you don't write this line it is not wrong because your question was just write a program which prints whether the given number is prime or not so your main logic is only this part right and if you are writing that okay but if you want to make your program more better more interactive then put appropriate messages wherever required so that we can understand what kind of logic you are trying to explain us then as you can see the main part is this logic right after that also i have left one line and i have given the condition flag is equal to 0 given number is equal i am giving appropriate message wherever required and one more thing that you can observe from here while i was writing this logic i needed one variable so that when i skip this loop because of the condition that the number is not prime so it is divisible by any value of i then i have to come out of the loop but if the loop comes out because of this condition or the condition that it has checked all the values i will not understand whether the number is prime or not so i have given this flag variable to make a logic now that i realized ki now i need one variable so i added that flag variable over here instead of doing cancellation at this point i did add one line in between and that was because i left already one line there so now my work is looking legible another thing that you can show in your program work is draw this right side margin right there rough work with pencil you show the dry run how your logic is running 
see i have written here dry run now what is actually dry run the variables that you are using in your program just note them out whatever values they will take at each program statement line keep on changing them if new value is coming just cancel previous value put the new value cancel previous value put the new value this will help you to know what was your last value when it is something like iteration in loop you require to change values then also show sample output lines okay first i will get enter the number this line will be printed now user is entering one sample input 11 right so now 11 is prime number so this condition is satisfied it comes to know that finally flag is equal to 0 remains this is the condition we are checking so now it will print given number equal to 11 is prime this program is well documented in terms of appropriate messages where that were given wherever required also when i am providing such kind of dry run when you yourself write the program and you find that somewhere my logic is not going proper at that time only you will understand that you will need to change something while writing right and also for examiner when they see that your logic is being shown as a dry run they will come to know easily that you have thought correctly and the solution to the given program second thing you can show here sample output either you show dry run or you show the sample output this will also uh, add to giving you more credits by your examiner but this is optional i don't say that uh, dry run and output should always be given with your question you are just asked to write a program so your program should be written correctly but on your own at last moment if you want to check whether you have written the correct logic then this practice can help you now next uh, solution which i have prepared was a theory question one question was asked explain printf statement right now what as a examiner i have found that many students are writing so many pages for one question like it is a seven marks question you are writing seven page see we are not interested uh, to see that how much you are writing we are interested in what you are writing how correctly you are writing my suggestions to you all is instead of writing unnecessary things please write only the important points that are required for example in this question explain printf statement you have supposed to explain what this function is doing so i can say you can write the definition then you can also show the syntax then you can take some examples and you can show here i have uh, explain about control string because that is part of my syntax then see one other thing that you can observe here something i have done as a cancellation over here i made mistake in writing something the spelling mistake or something then don't overwrite you just cancel out and write it again if you overwrite your work becomes untidy so try to avoid such things if possible then see this question i have completed i have given all the possible options which are possible in printf because it is a seven marks question then i have to explain it in a proper way i am i have shown certain examples over here and whatever the output i am it will uh, give me even that i am showing here so try to include uh, in your theory answer such kind of thing you can also write this kind of uh, solutions where you are showing that this kind of statement is going to give me this kind of results right so please try to write your answers to the point instead of writing so many unnecessary things and another suggestion is uh, like uh, if you are explaining uh, the concept of uh, any uh, character array for example what do you mean by character array whatever keywords important words in your answer are there try to underline them important keywords in any theory questions you think that this is the important word for your answer try to underline if possible with a pencil or even your ball pen if you try to underline what happens given theory questions are there lot of papers have to be checked at that time if the keywords are found by your examiner the examiner uh, gets confidence that you are knowing the concept and that is why you are able to identify important words in your answer so try to do that these are few suggestions that you can follow while writing your paper again another suggestion is try to start new question in a new paper what you people do ke question 3a you are writing here iske baad agar yahan par aapka answer khatam ho raha hai beech mein to aap yahi par question 4b bhi likh dete ho to please aap ye cheez dekhiye ki 
क्वेश्चन जो भी आप लिखते हो उसका सब क्वेश्चन एक साथ लिखना है मिक्सअप नहीं करना है आप कोई भी क्वेश्चन पहले लिख सकते हो लेकिन प्लीज मिक्सअप मत कीजिए दैट विल ऑल्सो वेस्ट द टाइम ऑफ एग्जामिनर इट विल ऑल्सो इरिटेट द पर्सन सो ही हैज टू सर्च फॉर ए बी सी एंड देन आपके टोटल मार्क्स उसको काउंट करने पड़ते हैं तो बेटर अवॉइड दैट ट्राई टू राइट ए बी सी क्वेश्चन टूगेदर यू कैन राइट एनी क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट जस्ट स्पेसिफाई क्वेश्चन नंबर प्रॉपरली योर सब क्वेश्चन नंबर प्रॉपरली एंड आंसर इट For new question, take a new page. But sub questions you can continue if the space is uh, enough to start with the question. Uh, now let me start with uh, my presentation. Um, well, I'm not taking any specific paper to discuss my presentation. I have taken few sample questions, and I have categorized them into different units of our syllabus. So as you know, in our unit two. uh there were few questions which were asked in previous paper first to uh, explain the primary data types used in c the below dates are showing the paper uh, in which this question was asked my dear friends again as i said you it is a seven marks question please don't write unnecessary things for this question i can write like this primary data types in c are also known as fundamental data types that are available to us by the c language primary data types are as follows integer float character basic including uh, with this basic data types we can add modifiers like short long and change their range each data type is having certain range uh, maximum value that they can store then you can show in a tabular form the different data types that is integer it is having this much range float it is having this much range when you are writing modifiers along with that like long integer short integer try to explain them give an example and explain but that is enough for this question you don't have to write so many other things just you have to concentrate on primary data types you don't have to explain other data types i hope uh, this uh, sample solution will help you uh, prepare for the exam Now next statement is explain printf and scanf giving their syntax. Now if this is a 7 marks question then you can think that for printf the examiner will give 3 and a half marks and for scanf work he, he or she will give you 3 and a half marks. If any one portion you are not knowing then whatever you know of this question you can write. Again for printf write the definition that this is a function which helps us to write something on the output screen. Then write the syntax of printf. the basic syntax how you are using it if uh, different options that i showed you in my solution if you want to add that you can add that part so this is enough for 3 and a half marks give one proper example which shows the output again explain the same thing with scanf what is scanf give the definition of scanf that it is a function to read from the standard input uh, from the user by using the keyboard then you are giving the syntax how it is written so just give one line syntax try to explain the syntax in that you have to explain basically control string what do you mean by control string control string is a format specifier which tells you in which format you are reading the value and how it is to be stored then you are showing the argument list in your scanf function so that you can show then you show one example but that is what we are looking as an examiner if you are writing that means writing that much that means you know the concept of this question then there was a question called ex, uh, explain implicit type conversion and explain explicit type conversion with example again if this two things are asked in the same question it is a seven marks question it is 3 and 1/2 3 and 1/2 you can think of now what do you mean by type conversion first you have to explain as you know c supports different types of data to be mixed together in an expression so if one variable is of integer type another is of uh, float type and you are adding this two variable actually the result will come out to be of higher type and in our case it is float so when this is done by compiler on its own it is called implicit type conversion in explicit type conversion what happens we as a user or as a programmer we are enforcing that something has to be done in a this data type only so i'll just narrate one example i have one variable average now practically average has to be which type it has to be float type but now you think that sum is of integer type and i am dividing it by 10 right now in this case this is integer this is integer so overall result will come out to be integer now even though i have declared this as float right 
I have declared this as float, but this solution comes out to be integer. For example, it is five. Now here, when it is assigned, average will get five point zero zero zero. Right? But if the solution is supposed to be five point five six seven, but overall result is integer, so it will come out to be five only. Uh, after decimal point, everything will be truncated. So your result to average will be five. and that is not correct actually practically so in this situation we have to do explicit type conversion now what do i mean by explicit type conversion we as a user are going to force in our program that this kind of calculation should be done as a float so how to change this average is equal to just type cast when i write this thing i am doing type casting sum divided by 10 this is explicit type casting when you are explicitly specifying that the result of this uh, expression should be considered as float when i am adding float before numerator so the value during the calculation of this expression will be considered as float and when the uh, numerator as you have written before numerator you can write even before denominator so as you have written before numerator so the value of sum will be considered as float for the calculation of this so float divided by integer will give me float value and now you are going to assign the correct value to average so this is explicit type conversion so try to give such examples and explain this question i hope uh, you have got the answer to this question another question in unit 2 was explain the classification of operators in c in brief now this question was repeatedly asked in many questions i have noted down few of them uh, but the way in which it was asked have been changed explain various operators used in c language list out operators used in c language and explain any four with example in this way the questions have been changed but the basic aim behind the question is same now <coughs> explain the classification of operators in c in brief in this question you are going to we we expect what that okay, you know which are the different operators available aap jante ho ki kitne operators c language support kar raha hai first arithmetic relational logical bit wise increment decrement special operators assignment operator these are the major total eight categories are there for operators so what you can do in this question just prepare one table where you are writing first column as categories and uh, operators so first category arithmetic just give uh, as i can show here 